Okay, so today we are continuing with Van Gogh. Today we're going to do his Avenue of Poplars in Autumn. Here is an example of his original painting. And actually, this is one of his beginning ones he did because if you look at this, you don't see the very stylistic thick paint and the brush movements that he did. But it's a perfect painting to do this time of year because it is fall. So here is an example of what our final will look like. To get started, first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw your horizon line in about the middle of the page. We're gonna use a little bit of what's called perspective. So I've got a road that is coming down here so it starts off smaller because things in the background are smaller and they get bigger as they go to the front. We're gonna do the same thing up here for the sky because the trees in the background are gonna be smaller than the trees in the foreground. So I'm going to draw a little path or guide that goes this way. Trees are gonna be smaller back here and they're gonna get bigger as they come to the front. I'm also going to, before I start painting, put my name on the back so I do not forget. We're using a brush and all we're doing today is dipping. Now, I recommend you start with yellow and I'm just going to dab all over my paper and these are kind of like, because it's autumn, fall, I'm gonna start off with my yellow. And these are leaves that are in the trees and that have also fallen to the ground. So again, you want to start with yellow. And we're starting with yellow because if I started with any other color, then the yellow won't show up as my paintbrush gets dirty. Kind of trying to fill in as much as that blue. If you need to, you can use your paper towel to kind of dab that off. And I'm just going to go dark to light. Now I'm going to come in with some orange. And again, I'm kind of dabbing it everywhere. And my last color is I'm gonna kind of dab a little bit of red. Now, red's a pretty powerful. If you don't wanna get a lot on there, you can kind of dab it off a little bit before you get started. So there's not quite as much red. But I am creating a marvelous, spectacular background. So when I'm done, I'm gonna kind of clean my paintbrush off a little bit. I'm going to paint my path. Now there's two colors of brown. For my path, I can just paint my road. And I'm using a little bit of both to paint my road. Okay, and that's all that I am doing today on painting. And one thing I do Um, want to point out is if you notice when I got paint, I just dabbed it. If you scoop the paint out, it's going to ruin the paint for everybody else. You're sharing a paint tray. So if I just lightly come in and dab, I don't ruin that paint for everybody. So today your beautiful fall landscape avenue of poplars is done and we're going to finish them. And this is an example of a finished project. This is what you guys did last week. Now, if you notice, some of you got a little excited and you painted your whole entire pathway. So if you accidentally painted all on your sky, I do have some blue papers that are cut that you can glue up here. This person actually did, and I'm just showing you as an example. And you can glue that piece on and then just cut across at the top. 
Okay, so to finish that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my trees. And as we talked about, these are going back. So my trees in the front, I'm going to draw using the tip of my paintbrush, my tree. And I'm going to draw some branches. So again, this is a tree closer to the front. As I go back, as I go back closer to the um, horizon line, my trees are going to get a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna give you guys some better paint. This paint is almost too thick. It's hard to get a good line. And again, just a few little branches. Then my tree in the very back should be my smallest and you might not even see the branches on that tree. So again, my tree in the front is going to be my biggest and it might have a fatter trunk that you can actually see. You just wanna use the tip of your paintbrush you can draw a few of the branches as they go back in space. This one's going to be a little shorter. Same thing with a few branches. And then my one in the very back is going to be the smallest. Once you're done with your trees, you're going to work on your house. So here's my house, I'll slide that up. Pretty simple. I'm going to put, make a, oops, sorry, you can't see. I'm going to make an upside down V and I'm gonna glue the rooftop onto my house. Cut the extras off. And I found some fun scrapbook paper to make it look more like a house. And then you're going to draw your door. And I'm gonna give it a little door frame. You can give it a fun, fancy window. And you can draw some windows maybe some shutters. Maybe you have a little window up here at the top of your cottage. When you're done with that, turn it over, put the glue on the edges glue it at the end of your pathway like that and then you are going to post it to Artsonia. When you post it under Artsonia, it is Van Gogh inspired Poplar Avenue, Poplar Tree Avenue, and that is what it's going to look like when you finish. <laughs>